Hi everyone, this is Ali Nasser. In this video tutorials, I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, Abacus uh, software tutorials. This is lecture number one. Uh, in this lecture, I, uh, I, my object and outline as shown here, I will give you an introduction about Abacus, what and why you have to learn Abacus, uh, and then introduction about extensions in Abacus, uh, units uh, of Abacus or used in Abacus, and basics uh, needs uh, to uh, can enter uh, finite elements analysis worlds. Let's start. Um, firstly, uh, what is Abacus? Abacus is one of the most popular finite elements analysis software available. Uh, also, by Abacus, you can solve uh, problems uh, from relative simple linear analysis to most challenging nonlinear uh, simulation. Abacus contains an extensive library of uh, elements that can model virtually any geometry. Uh, basically, um, Abacus uh, provides complete model uh, and visualizing environment for your analysis product uh, with direct access uh, to CAD models advanced of something called meshing, uh, visualizing, and so on. Uh, you need uh, Abacus to uh, deal with most uh, simulation challenges like uh, statics, uh, dynamic um, welding analysis, fatigue, uh, and so on. Most of all uh, application or mechanical tests uh, you can uh, deal with Abacus. Here I want to give you uh, um, basics notes about uh, Abacus. Uh, when you start uh, Abacus first time, you will find the icon Abacus CEE. Uh, after click and uh, run with your simulation, you will get uh, some files ex uh, like uh, this shown here. Uh, firstly, uh, um, extension called CEE, which uh, means uh, all processing can done with this. Uh, and also you can open uh, your project directly from CEE um, and also there is a extension called uh, .inp uh, which means analysis input uh, file um, this create uh, or generate uh, an input uh, file by using uh, Abacus uh, contains uh, IPN contains all information related to problems uh, something like uh, coordinated of nodes elements uh, connective matrix uh, material and so on uh, also you can find uh, um, extension called .jnl uh, which means uh, result uh, written by this uh, file uh, and can open a uh, new uh, viewer abacus or recent version. Most of versions can deal with uh, these extensions. If you have um, uh, old uh, file and uh, old software and you want to open your project, uh, you can directly go to .ngl to can deal with it. Uh, finally, we have a, a database, uh, our, data our database, this file contains all of the uh, data uh, can uh, visualizing your result. Uh, so this is very important uh, files you can generate it from your abacus after you finish your uh, simulation. You, you you need to know uh, this uh, extension well as we definited it. Then uh, I want to tell you uh, Abacus has no uh, units built in. Uh, you have to uh, create your own uh, dimensions, which means if uh, if you have if you used meter, uh, you need to use stress uh, in meter. Uh, energy in meter. Uh, if you use lens in millimeter, you need all dimension be in millimeter. Uh, if you know, if you use uh, Newton, you need all uh, force be in Newton. Uh, you cannot deal with kilo Newton. Uh, you have to convert it to Newton, uh, which means uh, if I selected meter, I have to follow these procedures 
like meter, newton, kilogram, second, newton per meter square, joule, kilogram per meter cube. If I deal with uh, millimeter, I have to follow this column, millimeter, newton, ton or kilogram, uh, newton per millimeter square and so on. You don't uh, forget to follow th these columns when you start uh, both your values uh, with units because no units in abacus. This is a very important point. Okay, now let me uh, talk about uh, what is finite elements. We uh, hear uh, many times about FEA, uh, which means uh, finite elements analysis. Uh, it is a, a, a numerical technique to solve uh, your problems uh, described by partial differential equations. In mechanical engineering, FEA is widely used in uh, um, vibration, structure, thermal analysis, and so on. Um, by using FEE, we can analyze uh, our shape and co convert this uh, geometry or shape to uh, result uh, in uh, uh, something like uh, stress, uh, um, strain, uh, and all uh, data you would, uh, do all uh, result you would to observe. You need to know uh, also what's the meaning of uh, mesh, as you see here in this figure. Uh, mesh is a percent of uh, uh, some elements uh, with some points called uh, nodes. Uh, these elements m have uh, many shapes like uh, tetrahedral or triangles uh, or many shapes. Uh, that is very uh, powerful points in Abacus. We have uh, all uh, elements types uh, available. Um, points on uh, each elements it's called uh, nodes. This is the end of our uh, quick start. I hope this video is useful for you. My regards, Ali Nasser.